There's Talita in the Bermuda shorts and Gabby McComb in the long spats. These two have got history, Chase. They are both very, very chippy, very, very aggressive. And uh, no love lost, I'm sure, in their matches, from their matches past. Because when they, <laughs> when they face off, it's always pretty intense. Yeah, but that's not reserved for each other. I think that's every match they've ever engaged in. Yeah. Uh, Gabby McComb having an incredible weekend so far. No, it's a great point. You're right. They are always intense, but when they meet each other, <laughs> it's a whole new level of intensity. Ooh, little clash of heads there. Talita's forehead, I think, went right into the teeth of Gabby McComb. That doesn't feel great. That's what I'm talking about. These girls fight forward. Gabby with a nice little knee tap. Earns her an advantage for her efforts. Great timing on that shot from Gabby McComb. Looks to arm drag into a similar setup again. Toledo wasted no time trying to answer back with the takedown of her own, but stuff there by Gabby. Talita trying to wrestle, but look uh, at the way we, that We've uh, seen this guillotine all weekend for Gabby McComb. Yeah, and look at that. That's beautiful wrestling, using that chin strap, running around, almost manages to catch a leg, but Talita wrestles back up to her feet, and we got a fight in our hands here. Jumps guard, going high. Yeah, Gabby McComb has been threatening anybody Anybody unwise enough to shoot on her with a tight guillotine, and she's been close to finishing that on more than one occasion. Yeah, I, I feel like Talita maybe jumped guard there because she's like, man, uh, she feels like uh, like Gabby was coming so hard with that wrestling. She kind of have to uh, has to be a little bit careful there. We might see Telly to go for a sweep attempt there, but the posture of McComb just too strong. We will see McComb try to stand to open this close guard. Talita seems pretty intent on, and there, the, there goes the tape on McComb's hands. Didn't last long. Oh no, actually it's still on there. Saw some tape go flying. Uh, there's the knee up the middle, traditional close guard break. Knee up the middle of the bud and manages to get to this long range passing now. Will we see McComb get around those legs? Or will she go through? But look at that. That's how aggressive Ankar is. She just kicks out from bottom. You can even see McComb kind of shakes her leg out a little bit because of the effect of the blow. Got to be careful with that. You're not allowed to kick from bottom. Even like a... Oh wow, she gets an advantage for that. No, I'm not so sure about that because the... Uh, I'm not... Yeah, it wasn't really a legit choke attack. She had the, 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 the shin, the ankle underneath the chin there, but it wasn't a real go-go platter because he didn't have control of the arm or the upper body, right, Chase? Exactly, exactly. But I like the idea. Aggressive, yeah, threatening at all times. Very threatening, yeah. I mean, Talita, she's looking for whatever entry she can get. Gabby Combe, though, with a nice entry here into this passing. Got the arm on her shoulder, as well as trapping the shin of Talita's left leg.
Jamie McComb thinking about wrapping up this ankle lock, maybe. Talita oh, uses that moment to up. wrestle up. Yeah, driving McComb from one side of the mat to the other, but uh, she wasn't even able to really get in on her leg for a, a, an actual takedown entry right there. That's how good McComb's wrestling is, that she's able to hand fight, circle out, and deny the, the takedown without having to even sprawl. Talita talking to the crowd now. <laughs> Gabby, you utilize some of the shin trap passing that the teammates of the Rutal brothers do so well. McComb hasn't been on bottom really at all in this match. Constantly trying to push forward and put Alan Carr on her back. Coming up on the leg though, and there is a reversal. A very well-timed wrestle up for Talita Alankar, who will get two points, scores the first real points of this match. Yeah, great work from Talita there. Saw her moment and did not hesitate. We have Gabby McComb here, underhooking the leg with her hands clasped, meaning she's trying to collect Talita's left leg here and bring it up on her shoulder maybe. See Talita just taking a breather there. Strong grip behind the head and very aware that that McComb is trying to draw that that right, excuse me, the her Talita's left leg into this position here. Now you can see McComb getting a little bit of exposure on that. She's trying to get underneath it. Talita keeping her base very low. gonna have to be very careful not to let McComb draw that leg in. She's known is, uh, is Talita driving forward, but you can see, look at the way she's pulling up on the back of McComb's head. And now tries to explode out and away, but maintains a fairly good connection there throughout that sequence, does McComb, and enters into a very similar position again. Yeah, that was a risky situation guard. there for Talita. She almost didn't kick out far enough. Right. Opening up the opportunity for a back take there or leg lock attack, but she yeah. is able to reset here. If Talita wants to disengage like that, she's going to have to be very careful and, and, and completely disengage. But interesting to note that McComb was playing a half butterfly guard here. She has a body lock. Talita looking over the top for a possible guillotine grip. But McComb's... Left butterfly hook inserted. She has the a high underhook. She can sweep from here. But nice hip switch there from Alan Carr, who's staying on top, she's trying to windshield wiper her leg over the top. Talita's in a good spot to pass here. She's basically got what looks like a cradle. I was gonna say, yeah, she's basically got the cradle here. Deeply uncomfortable position for those on bottom in this case, Guy McComb. And she may switch now. Nice. She's almost got this pass. Yeah, she's actually she's half got to try and windshield like uh, wiper her leg out of out of danger here. Alan Carr gets the underhook as well on the has that separation of oh, the. But Gabby's got control. It looks like of Talita's foot. Yeah, that's what's stopping her. But look at Talita's upper body control. She's even looking for a Kimura grip here. Nice work of McComb to regain the underhook. And actually, look at that reset. Scoots her hips back a little bit. Full butterfly guard. That's great work from Gabby McComb in defending what was a pretty solid pass attempt there. Going high for the shoulder crunch. A 
Less than a minute remaining in this match, and Tanita Alankar, she hasn't taken a foot off the gas. She's not running away. She's actually driving forward into the guard of Makomo. Now they're back up to their feet. And Alankar very smartly pulls guard. Just over 30 seconds remaining. And she put the pressure on, on Gabby Makomo in that match. In, in that sequence, that last half, that last passing sequence. Oh, nice cartwheel guard pass from McComb. Gavin McComb, though, she's got to empty the clip here. She's going to go Only 30 broke. seconds left, and she's down by two. Toledo may have just scored a two points. Let's see if she's awarded. Yes. There it is. I mean, that was a Hail Mary attempt from McComb. She knew that she needed to do something big. She went for a diving toe hold attack and concedes bottom position, but you gotta you gotta give it your all and if that's the case that's what happens you know i mean as we saw in other matches today chase that you know it's you can literally win with one second left on the clock so you don't stop fighting until that timer hits zero and that's exactly what gabby mccomb did but talita alankar captures another world no gi gold medal when you add up her gi and no gi accomplishments this competitor has a uh, wow she's had so much success over the years that makes her a three-time world no gi champion chase she won 2016, 2017, and now here in 2021, a three-time world no-gi champion. Let's take a look at some of the best moments from this match here. That's the wrestle-up. That was very, very smart from Tilly Talakar, the way that she was able to catch that leg, come up fast, drive McComb down to the mat. McComb she knew that she had to do something special. She tried diving on the leg there right on the end of the match, but you know, it's, uh, it was definitely a desperation move, but Alan Carr, very happy to get the win.